This is episode four of the From the Host podcast, how to handle a party. Now, this is probably the worst case scenario that everybody freaks out about, but we're going to get into the nitty gritty of how to handle this situation. I am your host, Mike Shogren, here with my co-host, Mike Riley. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing great. So this happened actually this past weekend. Um, Karen and Nick, who have been in the mastermind for, it's it's definitely been over a year now. Um, a little over a year, got, yeah. Yeah, they've got two units live in the Scottsdale area, and they're really building their brand for luxury STRs in the Scottsdale area. Um, these are high revenueing um, houses that they have. And um, recently, in one of their newer units, uh, they had some unauthorized guests show up. So the booking was for eight people and 16 showed up to check in. And now this unit can only handle, can only sleep 10. Um, so uh, Karen realized this on the ring footage. So have a ring camera so you can tell who's going in and out of your property. Um, and then the next step, once Karen realized that, uh, she called the guests and said, hey, you know, I noticed you have some unauthorized guests on the property. Um, you know, I'm sorry, but they're going to have to leave. They can't stay there. There's liability purposes, which there is like you're liable for everyone on your property. If something drastic happens or if there's an injury or something like that, like they can they can sue you if you have unauthorized guests there. So call the guest. The guest basically said, like, you know, this is ridiculous. I've stayed in plenty of Airbnbs and, you know, they're staying like we've got we're here like they're not leaving. So um, Karen, you know, said, you know, came to us and said, hey, what should I do now? Fast forward. And this was late at night. Fast forward about two or three hours. Then there was people jumping the fence trying to get into to her place that so they wouldn't show up on the ring camera. So now there's you know, 20 people, 30 people in the property, and it's looking like, you know, a party is going to show up. Um, so what she did is she called Airbnb right away um, and filed the claim and said, hey, look, uh, there's unauthorized guests at, on our property. There's a party. I'll show you all the videos. She gave all the evidence. Um, and then what she did is she sent her handyman there to escort everyone off the property, shut down the party and tell the guests to leave. Um, and that's really what we teach. And then, you know, worst case scenario, we try and stay away from this, but worst case scenario, if they don't leave after your handyman's there um, to escort them off the property uh, is calling the cops. Um, so that's typically how we, we handle these situations. Karen and Nick handled it perfectly. Um, it's a stressful situation at the time, but they're pros at this um, and we were there to help them out. Um, but yeah, Mike, anything else? I mean, those are really the steps that we take. Right. Um, and, Again, this is like worst case scenario, right? This is everybody's biggest fear of, oh my God, I'm going to have a party and this beautiful property and everything's going to get trashed, right? It is very stressful in the moment, especially if you're a newer host, you're like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm freaking out, right? So I want to highlight a couple of things. First, they were aware of something going down from the beginning, right? So they were aware. They didn't get phone calls from neighbors. They didn't show up the next day and the place was trashed. They didn't get calls from police, like nothing like that. So they knew out the gate, something was going to be going down. So they got out in front of it, right? Then they did what we told them to do, right? You call Airbnb immediately and you're like, listen, there's an unauthorized party in my unit. And Airbnb takes this extremely seriously because regulations and, you know, the bad image of parties and properties, they don't take that lightly, right? So they're contacting the guests and being like, listen, you got to go, right? If the guest isn't listening, we tend to have agreements with our contractors and handymen that like, hey, worst case scenario, if this situation happens, we will pay you extra to just go and just ask the guest to leave. We don't want you in any danger. If you feel like they're being unruly or they're not listening to you, leave and call the police immediately. But we try and involve the police last because again, we don't want to draw attention to the property. So I don't like having blue flashing lights in front of my units. It just causes drama in the neighborhood. And then like in the last episode, we talked about, you know, bad neighbors or upset neighbors. This is not going to help your situation, right? So if we can escalate it internally first with our team, or I should say de-escalate the situation, that's always the best. But worst case scenario, I never want to put anybody in danger. I call the police, the police kick them out, right? So they followed all the protocols and... I think there was minimal damage to the property. If there was anything, I didn't, I don't think she mentioned any damage, but if there was, then you just file the claims immediately with Airbnb. 
you get reimbursed and then you're good to go and you de-escalate the situation. Right. Yeah. But it's taking a breath, one, making sure that you have the systems in place, the noise monitoring, the cameras, the Wi-Fi locks, all those different things so that you can change access immediately. You're notified right away of unauthorized guests. You know if they're making too much noise, all of those things. And then you follow the protocols of call Airbnb right away. Um, make sure that your team is in place to handle any situations like that. And then worst case scenario, you call the police and you have them escort them off the property. Okay. So that is like literally worst case scenario of like something crazy going on in your property. And this is exactly how you deescalate it. So I know this, this fear stops a lot of people from getting in the game, but if you have the right processes in place, you're good to go, right? They handled it. Place got cleaned. The next guest checked in. Everything was fine, right? But it, you want to have these procedures in place before you get up and running so that if something like this does happen, which is very rare, like if you looked at all 300 plus mastermind members, this is a very rare situation, right? And this was somebody just being purposefully deceitful in a property, but this is how you handle that situation and you just keep it moving. So don't let that stop you from getting in the game, but just think ahead of if this situation happens, how am I going to handle it? What's steps one, two, and three? And when you think about that ahead of time and you have that plan ahead of time, it's a lot easier to execute on it than when your anxiety's going and you're stressed and you're freaking out and you're like, oh my God, what's going on? And you just go back to your playbook of like, this is how he's handled these situations. Boom, 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 done. No doubt, no doubt. It just, it creates a, a better image for you in the neighborhood. Um, and you're just a leader of, of everyone in this situation going on. So um, another thing she mentioned, so one lesson learned is, uh, just because the guest is paying $1,400 a night doesn't mean that, you know, they're not going to break the rules. So if they are paying a higher amount, maybe they think they can break the rules. So this was a high paying guest for a huge weekend uh, in Scottsdale and they're breaking the rules. But still, like they're not getting their money back for breaking the rules. They were there for three nights. They got kicked out on the first night. They're not getting any of their money back. They can take that up with Airbnb. It's not going to be taken up with us. Um, so we're protected in these in, in these scenarios. Just make sure you have, you know, the ring video camera footage. You have um, the noise monitoring system because you can give all that evidence to um, to Airbnb. And then worst case scenario as well, if the cops do show up, they've got a police report and they can tell you how many people were there. And that can go to Airbnb as well. So you're you're protected in every scenario and every case. Um, and it's super important. Like like we said, we want to be good neighbors so we can you know all have uh, a good experience together. Um, and, and essentially that just comes from having the right systems, being a good leader and, uh, and working with everyone involved. So hundred percent. And if you're getting in the game or you're in the process of scaling your business right now, and you really want to accelerate that and make sure that you have the right systems in place, then apply it to the mastermind, right? We've got an eight module course. We've got four live coaching calls a week. We've got one-on-ones with me. We have the playbook for how to run an effective short-term rental business. So if you're interested in taking your business to the next level, then go to strsecrets.com slash apply and you'll fill out a short little form. You'll get on the phone with Mike or one of our other coaches and we'll just decide, you know, what are your goals? Is this the right fit for you? What's the next level that you want to get to? And if we're a good fit, great. If not, no harm, no foul. So check that out. Um, otherwise, make sure you subscribe here on iTunes, Spotify, and on YouTube. So these videos get released first on YouTube, by the way. So if you're listening on Spotify or iTunes or anything, uh, these videos come out first on YouTube on Mondays, and then they get released on Wednesdays on the podcast platform. So if you want early access to these episodes, go over to the Short Term Rental Secrets uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. And you'll be able to get these first before anybody else does. So that's it for this episode. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, STR Nation, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave us a review. And in the comments, let us know what topics you want us to cover on upcoming episodes, and we'll make sure to get that in the books for you. And if you really want to learn how to launch, automate, and scale your short-term rental business, if you want to go deeper, then check out our free masterclass at strsecrets.com.